Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, just wanted to uh, talk a little bit about uh, something that happened earlier this year. Uh, I know some of you, most of you, probably don't know uh, my story into uh, getting into lawn care. Uh, but as short, as short as I can make it, I spent about 13 years with one guy. Um, we became really good friends. We're still pretty good friends. Um, but uh, I always wanted to get bigger and he just kind of always, it seemed like he just wanted to get smaller because he didn't want to have to deal with, you know, employees, you know, customers calling and complaining about whatever. Um, so he, uh, he approached me over the winter and uh, offered to give me part of the business, his business. Um, and cause, cause at that point I was, I was ready to quit cause I, like I was making good money, but I wasn't, um, you know, like working with a guy for 13 years, like I, I, you know, working at a company for 13 years, any other company, you know, like you would, you'd be making a lot of money, a lot more money, you know? Um, so that's kind of how I got my start in the, uh, lawn care industry actually as a business owner um, so I, I took about uh, 70 customers of his uh, we his company probably had total uh, over uh, probably 350 customers maybe uh, so I, I took about 70 and 65 70 and you know just kind of went off and you know did my own thing at the beginning when I w when I was getting in touch with everybody about like their price there was this one lady who her price is 26 and her yard is is pretty freaking big uh, I can use my uh, 60 inch on it but it's it's decent size and the problem I had run into um, in years past or with the customers who I have is that the uh, guy who I worked for hardly ever, ever raised his prices. Um, so, so he hardly ever raised his prices. And so the problem I've kind of been running into is and maybe this is more just me of being scared to increase prices because these people are used to you know $20 cuts $22 cuts $23 cuts um, so when I got a bunch of my customers there were a few that I increased the the, the price by a dollar or two you know I, I didn't want to go too crazy um, you know because it's my first year I'm wanting to get established. Um, and so anyway, there was this one lady, her yard has been $26 for like eight years, seven, eight years. That's how long we've probably been cutting it. Um, and I sent a letter, I sent a letter out to all my customers, you know, like your 2020 price is this. Uh, so I had increased hers by $2, $2 a cut. Two freaking dollars. What is that? Eight, eight, ten bucks a month. So, and so anyway, she she had reached out to the to the guy who I got who I worked with for thirteen years. So I got like all these customers from, and she like wrote him an email like, yeah, couldn't he increase my price? Like, is there anything you can do? So the guy I worked with before, you know, he was like, hey, this lady, she that you know she told me you increased her price like do with it what you want and at the time you know I was kind of like oh okay I'll, I'll go back down to, to 26 because you know I I, I want to make as much money as I can right now and I just wasn't thinking ahead you know of like of you know valuing my time and, and valuing you know or just knowing what I'm worth. Um, so I was listening to a podcast today. 
uh, Brian Fullerton, Fullerton Unfiltered, you know, he's talking about like rate, rate increases or price adjustments. And I was just thinking back to that. And I was like, you know, I was, I'm out mowing on a yard. I'm, just, I'm like, I'm just, I'm getting pissed, you know, like this lady, two, two bucks. I wanted to increase her price by. And, and and she she you know she t she called the guy or emailed the guy who worked with before like bitching about it and it's just kind of like it just pissed me off that I didn't you know like stand my ground and it's like you know if I I value my time and it just th looking back like this lady doesn't if if she's like having an issue you know with like you know two two bucks extra per cut so I'm scared to increase prices next year but at the same time everything costs more you know whether it's you know you're, you're getting fast food or cable or internet or insurance but I mean it's just like every every everything the price increases and I have goals you know of, of wanting you know better equipment uh, newer equipment a newer truck obviously because you guys know the problems I've had this year with this truck um, but you know wanting to get into the the snow game um, you know, go, going on trips and, you know, providing for my daughter and I, and like it, it's going to happen. Price, price increases, rate adjustments, whatever you want to call it, it's going to happen next year. And it's probably going to be scary as heck, but I think a lot of people probably, you know, would would be okay with you know a price adjustment or rate increase price adjustment i guess would be like maybe during the year you do a price adjustment because you're not making money on it so yeah rate increases and you know i'm not going to do anything you know like dramatic but you know de definitely you know shoot man like four or five bucks on at least you know my low 20 to mid 20 yards like I want my minimum next year to be like 30 bucks and um, so so yeah just just I share that little bit of info with you I don't know if you know some of you guys have you know had struggles you know with that some of you guys have probably been in business a heck of a lot longer than I have and you know you still might have it still might scare you it still might scare me if I'm in this game five five years from now, ten years from now. The 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 life I want and the things I I want, price price increases, you know, need to happen. So anyway, that's uh that's just my thoughts for today. Um I know it's a little bit on the longer side. I don't know, man. I really wanna get I really want to start doing freaking YouTube videos, you know, just chronicling, but you know, being being a solo you know, solo guy, you know, doing anywhere from 18 to 25 yards a day. It's it's <laughs> it's tough, you know. Um and you know, even trying to take like pictures for Instagram, it's just kind of like, oh, like I, I want to hurry up and get done. I want to hurry up and get done, and you know, not be working so late. But I don't know. Maybe that's you know, just it comes with the territory. Um, so I don't know. Maybe you know, this might be. Maybe I might post this on YouTube. Who knows? And you know, just kind of, kind of go from there. Maybe do, maybe try and do a video or two a week. Um. I mean, because there's definitely, you know, things on my mind that, you know, I think about that I'd like to, you know, bounce off other people or, you know, see what other people are doing. 
or, you know, just share ideas. Um, so yeah, if, uh, if you don't know about, uh, Brian's Lawn Maintenance, Fullerton Unfiltered, his podcast, uh, check it out. They're usually 60 minutes. The one I listened to today, I think was like an hour and a half. And it's just like, it's just like a gold mine of information. And it's, it's, it's like the best 90 minutes I spent today. You know, like I was making money and I was learning. So, so yeah, I suggest you, you, uh, you know, you check it out, subscribe, listen to it. Um, subscribe to his channel if you guys are new. Subscribe to his channel because like over this past, th this past winter when I was just starting out, like I was watching every single video of his. Um, just because I wanted to be successful like I wanted to make more money and the guy I was working with it, it just seemed like you know we never had we never had money for new equipment or you know but, but like you know doing things like boosting morale you know like take the company card and you know maybe go to a, a football game or a hockey game or something like that you know it's just always kind of like pinching pennies and it sucked and I don't want my business I don't want my business to be that way you know I do want to get bigger and big I don't know how I, I don't know what that exactly looks like for me at this point um, but you know I ha have a couple employees I don't know but yeah I want to make more money and you know I know you guys do too so there's a wealth of information out there that we can all learn from and even if you've been in this game for 10 15 years you know I'm sure you could still learn something like this is my 15th year cutting grass my first in business and you know I'm still like learning about equipment like you know I, I listen to these videos where people like oh what kind of trimmer what blah 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 is that they're like, oh, it's this one. Oh, this one's really cool. And that just like flies right over my head because I like, I just never had that luxury with the company I, I was at to, to be able to, you know, talk about that stuff and uh, afford that stuff. Um, so yeah, anyway, uh, this Thursday, uh, something big is going to be going down or at least I think it's big. You, you, yeah. So I don't know, maybe I might make a video on that. Um, but I'm excited about it. And uh, stickers, got a lot of stickers that uh, I put on some cones. Like the, cause you guys might've seen my Instagram post where I wanted to slash someone's tires who parked six, six, six inches from the back of my trailer. Um, so yeah, I got some, I got some cones and I'm thinking about, you know, putting, start putting stickers on that, which I already did. Um, but yeah, I'd love to, you know, do more sticker swaps and, and all that stuff. So maybe I might, you know, try and do that more on, on Instagram and, you know, just representing you guys, you know, out on my jobs and in Denver, Colorado, you know, we need to build each other up and. You know encourage each other and you know there's there's a lot of grass to cut and you can't cut it all by yourself so um, all right yeah I'm uh, I'm about like 10 seconds away from the dojo so um, yeah hope you guys had a great day hope you guys crushed it and uh, have a great week and uh, keep making that money and we will see you in the next one later